Hello and welcome to Brilliant POV. Welcome to our video where we will be diving deep into the heart of two of the most powerful and awe-inspiring tanks in the world, the T-80 and the M1A1. These tanks have been at the forefront of shaping the modern battlefield and have been instrumental in defending our freedom and security. In this video, we will be comparing their strengths and weaknesses, as well as their maintenance requirements and amphibious capabilities. We'll be uncovering the secrets behind these tanks and providing a comprehensive understanding of what makes them truly unique. Whether you're a military enthusiast, a student of history, or simply someone who is captivated by the technology behind modern tanks, this video will spark your imagination and leave you in awe. So sit back, relax, and let's take an emotional journey into the heart of these two iconic tanks. Pros of the T-80 Tank Low Thermal Signature The T-80 has a low thermal signature, thanks to its gas turbine engine, which makes it harder to detect using infrared sensors. This makes it more difficult for enemy forces to locate and engage the tank. Additionally, the T-80 has a passive cooling system that helps to reduce its infrared signature. Good Fire on the Move Capability The T-80 has good fire on the move capability, which allows it to engage targets while moving. This can give it an advantage in fast-paced, fluid battlefield situations. The T-80's advanced fire control system and stabilization system allow for accurate and rapid engagements even while the tank is moving. Advanced Defensive Systems The T-80 is equipped with an advanced suite of defensive systems, including the Active Protection System, APS, Smoke Grenade Launchers and Laser Warning Systems. These systems are designed to detect and defeat incoming anti-tank missiles, provide cover for the tank and its crew, and warn them of incoming laser-guided weapons. Good Amphibious Capability The T-80 has good amphibious capability, thanks to its high-power water jet propulsion system, which allows it to move through water at speeds of up to 10 km per hour, 6.2 miles per hour. This can be useful in situations where the tank needs to cross rivers or other bodies of water. The T-80 is equipped with a powerful 1,500 horsepower gas turbine engine which gives it high mobility and good acceleration. Cons of the T-80 Tank Complex Maintenance The T-80's gas turbine engine is more complex than a traditional diesel engine, which can make maintenance more difficult. The turbine requires a specialized maintenance and repair, and additional spare parts and tools. This can be a problem in some battlefield situations where maintenance facilities are limited. Limited spare parts availability, the T-80 is no longer in production, and spare parts can be difficult to come by. This can be a problem if the tank is heavily used or in a prolonged conflict. Additionally, the specialized nature of the T-80's gas turbine engine means that replacement parts may be harder to find than for more conventional tanks. High fuel consumption, the T-80 has high fuel consumption, due to its gas turbine engine. This can be a problem in situations where fuel supplies are limited, and the tank may need to be refueled more often than other tanks. Limited Amphibious Capability Although the T-80 has good amphibious capability, it is not as good as other tanks with specialized amphibious systems such as the BMP-3. This can be a problem in situations where the tank needs to operate in water or swampy terrain. The T-80 had a relatively lower ammo capacity than other tanks. This can be a problem in prolonged engagements where resupply may be difficult. Pros of the M1A1 Tank Good Crew Protection The M1A1 has a good crew protection, thanks to its advanced armor, which can provide protection against a wide range of threats, including mines, IEDs, and small arms fire. The tank's armor is made of a combination of steel, depleted uranium, and composite materials, which provides a high level of protection against kinetic energy rounds and shaped charge warheads. Good Firepower The M1A1 has a good firepower thanks to its 120mm smoothbore gun, which can engage targets at long ranges in the presence of a coaxial machine gun and a commander's machine gun. The M1A1 is also equipped with an advanced fire control system that allows for accurate and rapid engagements, even against moving targets. Good mobility, the M1A1 has good mobility, thanks to its powerful turbine engine and advanced suspension system. This allows it to move quickly and easily across a wide range of terrains, including deserts, forests, and urban environments. Good network-centric warfare capabilities, the M1A1 is equipped with a variety of advanced electronic systems, including a battle management system, a digital data and voice communication system, and a navigation system. These systems allow the tank to share information and coordinate with other friendly forces in real time, which can be a significant advantage in modern warfare. The M1A1 has a high level of automation, this allows the crew to focus on the mission and reduces the crew's workload. Cons of the M1A1 Tank High Maintenance Costs The M1A1 has high maintenance costs, 
due to its advanced electronic systems and complex powertrain. These systems require regular maintenance and replacement of parts, which can be expensive. Additionally, the tank's armor and other protective systems require regular upkeep, which can also add to maintenance costs. Limited Amphibious Capability The M1A1 has limited amphibious capability. It can cross shallow water but it is not designed to operate in deep water. This can be a problem in situations where the tank needs to cross rivers or other bodies of water. Limited Strategic Mobility The M1A1 is a heavy vehicle, and its weight can make it difficult to transport over long distances. This can be a problem in situations where the tank needs to be deployed to a distant theater, and the logistics of getting it there can be difficult. Limited Crew Survivability In the event of a catastrophic kill, the M1A1 crew survivability in the event of a catastrophic kill is limited, despite the advanced armor and other protective systems. The tank crew is still vulnerable to explosive, fire and other hazards that can be caused by a hit, which can result in fatalities. The M1A1 has a high profile, which makes it more visible and can be easier to detect by the enemy. Thanks for watching please subscribe.